Acceptable. Boy, is it out not framed right. Is my posture too good? Is that what's happening here? It is. Well, that doesn't seem good. I need to, I need to adjust <laughs> my camera. Okay, and you can see the game? Okay. Hey, we did it. All right, everybody. Hi. Thank you, Pliable Head and Cat Attack 103. Uh, and Well Spoken Rambler, thank you for reopening your subscription, everybody. <laughs> is Pushing Tuesday? Uh, it's another... Uh, it was another late morning for me. I'm not sleeping well, and I don't know why. Normally, if I'm not sleeping well, it's because I've made poor choices or uh, I'm just, like, stressed or overwhelmed. But I actually feel great right now, and so I don't know why I'm not sleeping. But I'm certainly not sleeping. So, um, I'm here. That's the important thing. I'm here, and you're here. And we all made it for this Goosebump game. Um, so, the... Here's, oh, you guys, oh, it's out of frame. Okay, hold on. Is it? What's happening here? I can see more of the game than you can, but the game says that that's not true. Wait, I know what's happening. Nope, I don't know what's happening. What's happening? Oh, okay, it is. Okay, here it is. Phew. Come on. Come on, let me do the thing. Okay. So as you can see, <laughs> the text at the bottom implies that this is, in fact, connected to the movie. So here's my question is, are we going to hear Jack Black? You think we're going to hear Jack Black's name? I, maybe I'm going to make this a poll. I'm going to make this a poll. This is how official I want this to be on the record. Okay, that poll is up and active. I'm just curious. I gotta remember how to do betting. That would have been a, this would have been a fun one to do a bet one. He was in Psychonauts 2? What was he in Psychonauts 2? Hmm. As you can see, the cursor is real, real drippy. Shuri D, thank you for subscribing. Helmet. Oh. Okay. So Jack Black might be in it. Oh, that's right. He was in Brutal Legend. I forgot about Brutal Legend. Um, as did most of the, the gaming world, I think. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. So Jack Black might be in this. All right. Everybody keep their audios open. By which I mean ears. Oof. Let me have a little bit more coffee. I also have some baked oats uh, bakery near where my office is. They do baked oats and it's just super nutty. You can get toppings on them and then they cover it with cream or milk and then they give it to you and it's real primo. The cursor is gi is giving me such like 90s, 2000s web uh, design. Like if you had a Goosebumps fan page, you would absolutely have like a drippy, nasty ass cursor. Ow, that was a big bite. It was too big a bite. Yeah, big, big GeoCities, big, uh, <laughs> big angel fire energy of this interface so far. Oh, okay. Let's dig in. The two genders. <laughs> I like that they had to angle this one so you could see the titty and the and the ponytail the two characteristics of that gender whichever gender it is let me hold on let me move my head so that it's covering this head here i'm the delivery man oh no oh okay it's moving never mind Begman, man, man. I don't. I couldn't tell you. It could. That could be what this game is. It. It was. This game was definitely made in conjunction with the movie. Tollbooth operator. That shit haunted, dude. That shit's haunted. You can't call her. I'm 
loving this. I'm loving this spooky mood. I'm gonna move my head again and make it smaller so I'm less intrusive. Okay. I think they're gonna pack in as many fucking Goosebumps references as they absolutely possibly can. <laughs> Evil genie! <laughs> Heard that one. Okay, well, zombies? Guess I told you a lot of these. <laughs> we don't gotta talk the whole time. Oh. Oh. Are they moving spooky shit? Yes! Yes. Alright, hold on. There we go. Yeah, I'm digging the art so far. I'm curious, I mean, I don't think it's the actual art from the, the covers, but it does seem to be inspired by it. I hope this is not a ventriloquist dummy story. Oh no! <laughs> Matsalu, thank you for re-upping your subscription and hello and goodbye. Okay, all right, so we've got two dead I guess. Does does the um, haunted dummy kill people? <laughs> it's been it's been so long since I have played a Goosebumps game. No, it's been so long since I read a Goosebumps book. That's the what thing I'm talking about. Uh, and I don't have very strong memories of any of them, except for the choose your own adventure one where you're in a the an amusement park. That one I played a lot, slash read a lot of. That was my video games before I had video games. All right. You can examine your environment by moving the cursor to an object or an area and press the left mouse button, then choose look in the drop down. <laughs> drop down is your verb menu and change is based on the object. You can look directly by pressing Q, okay, or even interact by pressing E. Good. You eat lunch with your friends on this planter. It's surprisingly comfortable. You part the branches and peer inside. Nope, your phone's not here. Gray clouds shroud the area under a threat of rain. Wasn't this clear this morning? Okay, so I can go this way or I can go go into the parking lot. Oh, okay, so I, have to, I guess I have to go in. Open. Will you ever escape this place? Incredible. Yeah, we absolutely did the Animorphs Choose Your Own Adventures. Uh, Brent and I did on Pandalites. I can't remember how we did it. I think we just took turns reading pages and then picking picking the uh, conclusion we wanted. Long empty hallway stretches into the distance. You stop near your locker. Trusty old 402. Should be too hard. All you need is the key from your book bag, yes? Use, bing. Point and click! Oh, 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 oh. You turn the key and the lock pops open easily. You slide it off and open your locker. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Put these stickers up at the start of the year and already sick of them. Your brother was right. The only thing more permanent than tattoos are stickers. Stick carefully. <laughs> All the books you didn't need for homework. I mean, that looks like my cell phone. Yeah. Seemingly unharmed and fully charged. It's haunted. It's haunted. That means it's haunted. Grab your cell phone and cradle it protectively against your chest. You were afraid you'd lost it. 
After a moment, you calm down and check the phone. Yep, it's still fully charged. Looks like you have a voicemail. Hi, Jenna. It's Mom. Just wanted to let you know I'll be home late tonight. Later on tonight, the clients want to take us for dinner. Chad should be home pretty soon. So you two... Of course, my brother's name is Chad. So you two will need to fend for yourselves. Remember, the key's under the back steps. Love you. Okay. You slammed the locker shut. Oh, it looks like a note. Oh, cool. Okay. The note reads, Hey you, found my note. I hoped that you would. Sometimes people see notes in the hall and just assume they're trash. Not you, though. That feels like kind of a read. <laughs> Was that it? Was that the whole? Okay. Somebody, look at this busted up locker. This happened the day Roger forgot his locker combination. Da -da. All right. Vote. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't look or interact with this weird <laughs> picture of Elvis that's attached to the ceiling. All right. Let's see. Yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, that's not how I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to. There we go. Okay. Will I do an impression of Jack Black? Jack Black. I can't even say the motherfucker's name. I don't know if I have a Jack Black imperson impersonation in me. <laughs> what does Jack Black sound like? He's kind of got like a low kind of rockabilly energy to his voice. <laughs> All right, I can call people. I can look at a map. Oh, what? Oh, I did not. <laughs> Did not mean to call information. Uh, hang up. Okay. Thought. There we go. Map. Yeah, okay. Alright, well, that's fair. I haven't explored anything yet. Go Is this Goosebumps slash GB Maps? <laughs> oh, you can't see it. Hold on. Here's my head. It's Goose Maps. Goose, goose bump bitmaps. All right. Good bumps to you. <laughs> Gravelly interspersed shouting and singing. Okay, I'm I'm gonna wait until we hear him in the game. I would hate I would hate to do my impression and it be so good that when you hear Jack Black, you're like, what? That doesn't sound right. I we gotta keep our 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 audio systems clear. For the, the dulcet tones of the Jack Black. Oh, and now I've covered up the name. Not a lot of clear space for a head in this game so far. I'm just going to make all of this smaller. There we go. Okay. Let's crack this bad boy open. I can't open it? Fine. I'm too young to drive. Okay. What about... What directions can I go? I can go left, right, or back to school. Let's go into the spooky woods. Yeah. Familiar sights and sounds of the woods. The path leads over a bridge and turns into some trees. It's lasted your entire childhood. Ooh, a lost dog! Looks like somebody lost their dog. Poor kid. Don't mind if I do. Yeah. Now I'll have to find Gigi. Is Gigi gonna be haunted? The, it, the creek gave me an option to wade. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You reached a small clearing surrounded by trees on all sides. There's a weird guy creeping around. You've never seen him before. Around 30 or so. That is weird. But there's something off about him. His clothes are torn, and he won't make eye contact. 
Taking a closer you look, you notice his hair is green and kind of leafy. You see bugs crawling around beneath his clothes. Um. Huh. <laughs> Let me interact with you. You start to ask the man if he lost, but he grunts at you unintelligibly. All right, well, let's go right. You take a few steps around the weird guy, but he spins on you with inhuman speed. <gasps> Did I die? <gasps> okay. Well, I mean... Uh, so I went right that time. Let's try left. I think this will be... Yeah, so that's the left path. Is this just going to happen again if I try to go this way? I mean, we have to try. Yeah, okay. I like the design. I liked the way that they implemented it. That was, again, so much. <laughs> Cold stars, yes. I do remember that. I do remember that, and I'm delighted that we've returned here. Um, okay, so not this way. Uh, I appreciate the quick uh, reload on this game. It really just goes for it. Go to the dusty path. Ooh. Yeah, good saving, good loading on that one. That felt gross to say. <laughs> uh, it was kind of gross to read, so I'm glad that that tracks. Wow. Maybe we can use the weed killer on that guy. Let's go murder a monster. Um, can I hit this? I can have I bloodied my knuckles. Okay, well, shrubbery. I can search it though. Oh, practically feel the fleas and ticks that lurk in the bush. Brush. All right. Well, I can't go anywhere else, so I do think we... Oh, I do think... Don't forget to save your game frequently in case the unthinkable happens. Pass. Yeah, I think we've got to... I think we've got to do a murder. <laughs> I think we've got to do a weed murder. recoils violently as it hits him in his face. Smoke rises from the wounds and you can smell something like freshly cut grass. How pleasant. Ugh. Well, this is worse. He retreats to the foot of the hill before falling down and cowering. I feel bad. He doesn't seem so threatening anymore. He's covered his face with his long ropey fingers and trembling. He doesn't seem to be particularly interested in conversation at the moment. Feeling bad. Let's go deeper into the wood. He did kill me twice. That is a great point. Yeah. That is a good point. You reach the big tree and take a nice deep breath. Ah, the air in this spot uh, smells clearer somehow. Wait, this isn't from the roots. This dirt's been disturbed recently. This tree is so big it must be incredibly old. If you wrap your arms around it, your fingers wouldn't touch. Not even close. Whoa! Are those... Bug bugs? The branches stretch so far they nearly block out the sun. The thin rays of light make the clearing feel magical. Big knobby roots spread from the base of the tree. They cut through the hard ground like it's nothing. I mean, if... Oh, dig, yeah. You try to dig with your bare hands, but it's too tightly packed. Dirk cakes under your fingernails. Was there... I don't think there was a shovel good hydrate reminder. I don't think there was a shovel at the tool shed. Right? I 
do my best to ignore that man I assaulted. Hey, Claire! Barvacus, thank you for the gift sub. This is the end of the woods. You can get to your neighborhood just up that hill. Looks like there's some kind of commotion near the tunnel. I love a commotion. Let's commote. They seem really excited about something. You ask what's going on, but Tyler Alseth just glares at you. Mind your own business, Jenna. Excuse you. I thought I was clear, Tyler said, as the crowd draws nearer. We found it first. Get lost. What? I, I don't, I can't. Can I go in there? All right, I can't get, I can't get through the crowd. Fine. Fine. Hello, fellow kids. Yeah, <laughs> that is how I felt about that. Almost home, you think as you step into your neighborhood, your spirits fall immediately when you notice an accident down the street. <gasps> I didn't actually see the Goosebumps movie. Is the plot of the Goosebumps movie that Jack Black slash R.L. Stein moves into town with a bunch of spooky stuff, but then the moving truck crashes and all the spooky stuff escapes, and that's what that is? Is this just what this is? Your road is completely blocked. You'll need to find a different way around. Ooh, look at these beautiful flowers. You didn't realize roses came in green. How spooky, it's green. Oh, I got a blue rose, dunk. Yes to the first part, no to the crash part. Hmm, you think it escapes from his house, okay. Oh yeah, does my audio and my face seem desynced? I don't know how to test that other than I guess just keep going. perfectly normal rose, other than the fact that its petals are deep blue. Well, I clicked on the house, so... Hmm. Goes, that moving van got into an accident. The back is open and boxes are spilling out into the street. And yeah, let's check out this wreck. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You veer inside the van and see a ton of boxes along with odds and ends. The crash didn't seem to damage anything. A sense of dread creeps up the back of your neck. Hell yeah. Pumpkin head, straw hair, threadbed hat. Okay. Spooky globe. Nondescript books. Canister of something. Shrunken heads. I would not- no, let me open them up. Look at this Dracula vampire picture. Fucking sarcophagus. Snazzy top hat. Yes. I can't- why can't I rob? Why can't I steal? Why do games want to try to teach me something about morality? I feel like you shouldn't be here and decide to creep away. You're surprised more people don't seem concerned about the accident. I am surprised about that. Uh, I bet... I bet if I go back... Yeah, it'll be open. Oh! Is there a Goosebumps about a haunted rabbit? If there is, you have to tell me or this is entrapment. It's a small white rabbit. It's for as unkempt and it seems wary of you. Would it like to eat a blue rose? You kneel down and look at the rabbit's eyes. Hey there, little fella. Uh, humph, says the rabbit to your surprise. I thought those roots would never leave. With a flash of white, the rabbit disappeared into the brush. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's go down this tunnel. Bad hair day. Benicula! I miss Benicula. When is Benicula gonna get a fucking reboot? Ah! Wells fucking Rambler, yes. That rabbit was definitely late for something. You hold your nose and slog into the tunnel. Careful, taking care to avoid stepping in the water. 
Ooh. Halfway through, you wonder if you'll make it. Ooh, a hole? Far in the distance, you hear a sound like the ocean. I would like to jump into the hole. You're pretty sure it's water, but it shimmies with a blackness that normal water doesn't have. Can I... Is that... I am gonna... I mean, I am gonna jump, right? Yeah, it's a hole! If anything... If streaming has taught me anything, it's that if you see a hole, you gotta jump on it. With a running start, you... Oh, I'm gonna fucking die, huh? You dive into a big black hole. You fall for what seems like hours. Falling, falling. This might have been a mistake. <laughs> okay. Well, that's all that I deserve. Pong was released 50 years ago today. Dang. Dang. A shoe, just one, lies alone in the wash. Part of you wonders if its owner is still here somewhere. Somebody left a bike wheel. It's a little banged up, not too bad. It probably still rolls just fine. Can I take it? No. I can take the shoe, though. I hope all of these things, this garbage I'm picking up has payoff. love to reach into a deep pool. Getting down is on your knees, you put one arm into the pool of water. Its icy chill clings to your skin as you reach further down. The water rises past your elbow, still haven't hit bottom. You take a deep breath and press on, reaching down, down, the water laps against your shoulder. You reach left and right, but can't feel anything but water. You start to imagine a hand gripping your wrist and yanking you down beneath the cold surface. It's almost real, the sensation of bony fingers wrapping around you, tightening, the pool rushing towards your face. You feel a desperate breath and hold it, clenching your eyes shut. Moments later, you realize it's your imagination. You gasp and pull your arm out, soaked but unharmed. You look around to make sure nobody saw that. The coast seems clear. Cool. Anything else? A chimney? How would a chimney ever get here? Phew. Ah, pliable head. That is a good read. We found our body hole. We found our co corpse trough. Ah! Ah! <laughs> okay. Okay. What the heck? You took several large gasps and try to calm down. The dog attacked as soon as you entered your neighborhood. Thank goodness it's on a leash. Hello. The woman doesn't look familiar. Maybe she's new in town. She's dressed extremely formally for somebody walking her dog. She's got fucking style. You nervously stammer hello to the woman. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Who turns a disinterested eye in your direction. Sorry about the dog. She looks to have given you quite the fright. Oh, that's okay. I'm Jenna. What's your name? Forrester. Mrs. Forrester. There's an uncomfortable silence. Is Lady Gay? I'm just assuming. Uh, she's wearing an awful lot of cobweb-based garments for a straight person. This town is yours. It's very quiet. What a shame if someone were to startle it awake. Oh, I was going to say, I haven't seen you around the neighborhood before. After you ask your question, the woman looks you up and down. Hey, you're not sure what she could be judging you for. Fifi and I are simply having a look around, getting the lay of the land. Some friends of ours came to the area very recently. We want to know if it's a good place to put down roots. The dog's constant tugging has worn away at the woman's patience and she sighs. We must be going. Perhaps we will see you around very soon. Ba -ba -ba. Ah, oh, this is my house. Wait, <laughs> wait a minute. No, that can't be my house. 
Uh, an enormous two-story mansion looms over the rest of the neighborhood. Normally it would be pretty awesome, but it's sitting where your normal boring house is supposed to be. Uh, you're definitely on the right street. You're positive this is your neighbor's house. The girl who lived here used to babysit you. Huh. Huh? Hmm. Uh, juiciest wizard. That is also what I thought. Don't, don't put down roots here. I already killed that guy. You move further down the street to stand in front of what used to be your house. Um, the large house reaches up towards the ominous sky. Its twisted window, port. It's sorry. Its twisted windows portals to madness. This is your address, but this is definitely not the home you left this morning. Pardon <sighs> me. Fifi Faith, you want me to learn more about Fifi? <laughs> your skin crawls just standing here on the porch. You hope the neighbors haven't noticed your house turned into a macabre mystery mansion overnight. Those stone gargoyles are sure to frighten away unwanted visitors. They look extremely realistic, almost as if they could drop down and attack at any moment. The windows kind of look like someone screaming. Maybe mom is going all out for Halloween this year. The dark, swirling clouds certainly don't provide any relief from the creeping sense of dread. These seem like the same rickety porch stairs you've always had, but when attached to this particular house, they seem more sinister. The door is twice as big and easily three times as ornate as it should be. I wonder if your house key will still work. You struggle with the knob, but it's not budging. You might as well try your house key just in case. Oh, I have to go. It's around the back of the house. I remember. Fifi killed Gigi. <gasps> we should have. We should have asked the that lady about the missing dog. You creep along the side of your fence into the backyard. The backyard is the same? Somehow that's way weirder. You giddily run up and jump into the tire. As it flies forward and you lean back, you close your eyes and can't help but shout, Wee! The moment passes and you reluctantly lower yourself to the ground. You hold the swing until it stops moving and step away. Life's so much more complicated now. Wow. A little bit of ennui in this Goosebumps game. You don't play in the sandbox anymore, and that is not your truck. Are kids coming here and using your sandbox? You crouch around and lean your head under the porch for a better look. To beat up old Coke can. Nobody would think to look there for the spare key. Love it. Excellent. Bing. Okay. Where's my key? Why am I taking the spare key? Why don't I have the key? Like, this is my, this is my locker key. Just a grill? Get out of here. This is a Charmaster Elite Ultimate Grilling System. Okay. This door leads into the laundry room slash mudroom of your house. It's locked. Unfortunately, this door takes a different key from the rest of the house. Okay, game. Very spooky. It said you could search the sandbox? Okay, hold on, hold on. I think when I searched it, I was just, oh, maybe maybe I was just looking. Let's, let's do that. I definitely need more garbage in my, <laughs> in my inventory. It, does my phone look like it's losing charge? Eighty-seven percent? Oh, you dump the truck into the bag with the rest of your stuff. And the dino... The, actually, the trowel is actually going to be useful because the, if, if you remember correctly, that weird, cool tree we found. Thank you for pointing that out, Faith. Yeah. Trowels are the most powerful inventory item you can have. 
in a point and click game. You pull the heavy door, open the heavy door, and enter the house. Ba -ba -bum. This is without a doubt not your house. Mom would never let the entryway get so dirty. Poor mom. You can smell the dust and decay in the air. Is there a um, light switch? Small end table. It looks like a prop from a haunted attraction. Strange portraits hang on the wall. They're not of anyone you recognize. It's dark, but you think you can make out a dining room through the arched doorway. This is the only element that belongs in your house. Mom loves coat racks for some reason. Ha! Even though company rarely uses them anymore. The store stands stoically shut. You can feel a strange energy around it and assume it's locked for the time being. What? Oh, ah! <laughs> well, one more again? Did that door say, come on? <laughs> Did you guys hear that? It was It's a haunted teen ghost door. All right, well, I can go up the stairs or into, let's go into the archway. Come on, I'm gonna be thinking about that door for a bit. Oh, hi. You step into the dining room and spring back, immediately noticing a woman at the table. She eyes you intently like a hawk searching for prey. Door leads further into the house. Tell me about these decorative cock plates. Decorative plates are a common collectible item among women in your mother's age. <laughs> okay. Buffets like this once provided much needed counter space when entertaining. The extra storage space isn't bad either. I'm curious about who made this game and how many point and click games they've made before. This this lace means it's far too upscale for any of our family dinners, which rude. Hi. How did she get in? Maybe she lives here in this haunted version of your house that is. A toothy grin spreads across the woman's face before she speaks. There you are, Jenna. Give me a big kiss. Um, no. Try not to kiss strangers. Taken aback by her forward request, you aren't sure what to say. You shake your head. Oh, is that any way to treat your Aunt Dahlia? Uh, something just isn't right about her. I don't have an Aunt Dahlia. But of course you do. I'm a distant relative, and I haven't visited since you were very little. Well then, it's weird of you to say kiss me. Mom would have mentioned you, and she never has. Who are you really? Well, of course she wouldn't. I'm from your father's side of the family. I'm go I guess I'm gonna just keep doubling down. Sorry, lady, I don't have any idea who you are. Huh. I'll be waiting here when you learn some matters. You're gonna be waiting a long time, lady. I don't learn. You duck into the kitchen. The kitchen looks like a period piece from a time you want nothing to do with. You immediately notice a dripping sound. You strain to hear the source of the dripping. It's so faint, it will be hard to find it. You struggle to think of ways to make it louder. You wanna track down the drip, but you'll need to increase its volume. What? This is normally mom's junk drawer. She puts everything in it, which means I can't ever find anything. So what's inside? Battery? Scissors? 61 paper clips? Keys? Furniture assembly instructions? Only one way to find out. Gold! You decide to take the talisman with you. Maybe it'll ward off some weirdness. What? You hold the talisman closed and it vibrates a little. That's a neat trick. Okay. A standard wide cupboard beneath the sink. It needs to be large enough for a plumber to fix for repairs. You reach down and open the cupboard. Ooh, sponge. As you move left and right, it almost seems to be following you, watching. Well, let's go ahead and put that in my pocket. Against your better judgment, you pass the sponge into your bag. Oh, good. You lock the top and drop the dish soap in your pack. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, let's look at this weird panel. A wooden panel's been hastily attached here. You wonder why they did that. Okay. There must be a leak somewhere. This is some serious water damage. The, I'm, I'm, <laughs> Amy the Mac, thank you for re-upping your subscription. What are the odds my advisor will accept there is a cat sitting me for a reason my paper is late? Um, I think low, but they're in the wrong there. Uh. The fact that everything that is happening in this um, game is happening and my character is just like, oh, there's a leak in the kitchen. I gotta, I gotta jump on that. Peer into the drain leading to the garbage disposal. There's something else down there, something shiny. Well, let me go put my hand in there. I can't. There's no stick your hand in the garbage disposal in a horror game option. Hello, old friend, is what I say to the dishwasher. Yeah, it's not even my house. Like, what is happening? This is such a weird, <laughs> a weird direction for whatever this is. Opening it would only bring your chores into stark relief. There will be time later. Okay. But I can't interact with, like, there's no interact option here. You reach up and open the cupboard. Oh, the weird peanut butter. That was a thing, right? That was, that was a Goosebumps story, wasn't it? It's purple peanut butter. The label promises all of the flavor, none of the color. Y'all remember that? Mom's been on a smoothie kick lately because they're easy to eat on the run. Can't think of the last time you made toast, yet the toaster's right out on the counter. Believe it or not, the plant was just as dead this morning. Not a lot's changed in the kitchen. The refrigerator is, well, green. It's incredibly green. The game is working. You do want to read Goosebumps books now? <laughs> I can't... Okay, yeah. Here we go. Grip the handle and firmly pull open the fridge. Yeah! You're certainly not going to drink it, but you find yourself taking the juice anyway. A lot of purple food. Decide to take the flavor of jelly jam with you. I can't close. I mean, presumably I'm supposed to do something to get... My inventory is so full of garbage. And I'm beginning to think that a lot of it is just stuff I will not be able to use. Um, that's so contrary to the point and click uh, gameplay style, but I'm, I'm starting to feel that way. Oh. I mean, let's, I guess let's try stuff. That's a good way to grind up perfectly good dish soap, but a terrible way to retrieve an object from a drain. Okay. All right, well, I don't think I have any thing. <laughs> hey, Pat. Thank you for the gift sub. Um, hmm. Uh, a real. <laughs> hmm. I, it, this is a night. The idea of a point and click game where you can pick up everything and don't know what stuff is useful or how to combine it is absolutely a nightmare. <laughs> oh, I didn't... Yeah, I didn't parse that you gave a gift sub to R.L. Stein. <laughs> oh, no, it's about... <laughs> uh, all right, let's leave. Let's leave this kitchen. Go, go back to my weird aunt. She idly sips her drink, waiting for you to strike up conversation. Her eyes are almost daring you to do so. 
Into the next room. Okay. The den is where the family gathers to watch TV or just hang out together. You don't want to hang out in this version for too long, though, because it's spooky. Ooh. A roll of film. You can load this into a camera and take pictures. I don't have a camera, though, but dunk. You push and pull several books to check for secret passages, but no luck. The most you found was a paper clip. Whoa. Aren't there enough video games in your life right now? I don't like this game reading me this way. Is this supposed to be an Atari? One of the Ataris? You've heard of grandfather clocks, but this must be a great grandfather clock. It seems really old and expensive. You move in for a closer look. Oh. This seems like it's a puzzle, right? I can't seem to interact with anything in here. But I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess these little, when they pop out like that, that seems like it's gonna be a puzzle. Realizing you're still inside a dark, creepy perversion of your house, you snap out of your reverie. All right. All right, so this seems like a puzzle. And the thing in the um, kitchen, the under the sink area in the kitchen seems like it's a puzzle. What if I combine the juice and the jam and the peanut butter? Oh, I did not even read what that said. I was so caught up in my, my food crime. No, I want to combine. I hope I make a spooky peanut butter and jelly sandwich at some point. Okay. Can I, can I use... Oh, I can drink the purple stuff. Hold on. Let's drink it up. You decide there's only one way to determine what strange brew this is. You tip the <laughs> bottle to your mouth and sip gingerly. Prune juice, maybe? Your vision grows cloudy and a wave of exhaustion washes over you. You feel incredibly weak. Wrinkles stretch rapidly across your hands and arms. Haunted prune juice! You're just so tired. Maybe you'll explore more tomorrow. You lie down on the ground, ready for a nice long nap. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, so this haunted prune juice is just in my inventory now forever? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, let's smell it. Sniff, sniff. Ugh. This door didn't exist in your normal laundry room. It's a wall-mounted, flip-down ironing board. Mom irons so rarely. You can't remember seeing it down, though. What about Dad? How often is Dad doing the fucking ironing? Even still, of all the boards you've ever seen, this one has to be the most irony. What? That had the shape of a joke, but it wasn't a joke. Give it to Aunt Dahlia? I'm gonna poison Aunt Dahlia? Okay. Supply cupboard to hold all your laundry supplies. Yep. Can I take any of them, though? Yeah! Some soap? Fabric softener? Okay. The dryer is running and sounds like there's something inside. You can't tell what is through the window, though. Is it something spooky and haunted? Oh, no, I want to go back. <laughs> Grim. Grim. That's true. Mom ha is the only one 
that's been haunt. The, the only hint we've gotten about the father is that uh, Aunt Dahlia is supposed to be on the father's side, and maybe that's why I haven't heard from her. Let's go into this weird. Wait, can I unlock this? Okay, good. Okay. Oh! You open the door, eager to find out what this new room could be. It's um that room from um the uh not the life of Brian, the meaning of life. Remember when he goes out into space? Yeah, let's go into the weird space. Oh, thank you, Evan. E Evan wins. <laughs> good, good username too. Uh, also the scary door. <laughs> um, I hope you have a good day as well, Evan wins. You stand at the foot of infinity. Uh, ooh, there's more film. Let's go ahead and loot infinity. Curving around into perpetuity. It cannot exist. Crossing forever into the next one. This is the way, one way, a possibility. It cannot exist. <laughs> you can reach the height of eternity. Okay, so there's just like a little Hellraiser door in this room. There's only one way, which I think means... I think means that I can only go back the way. Uh, okay. <laughs> Can I close this door? No, I can't, huh? All right, so infinity is just going to be leaking out uh, forever, I guess. Cool. Okay. So the only door left in here has a pretty ominous red glow at the bottom. So let's go ahead. Oh, can I not go in there? Noticing the bathroom is locked, you knock on the door. There's no response. Okay. Occupado. Oh, there's a laundry chute. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's go give... Let's go give that... Our aunt the haunted prune juice. <laughs> yup. Use on old lady. She's not quite sure what to make of it. She grins sweetly to be polite. Oh. Toothy grin spreads across the old woman's the woman's face before she speaks. There you are, Jenna. Come give me a big kiss. I mean, if I give her a kiss, she's gonna kill me, right? That feels just like on the level, right? Nope to Joe. Thank you for re-upping your subscription. It just seems like that just seems right. Right? Why don't you do it? <laughs> Her skin is clammy and loose. Oh! That's better. Now your Aunt Dahlia poured a glass of prune juice, your favorite, down the hatch. No. I'm not thirsty. Your mother wanted me to look after you today, and you're already misbehaving. You drink it first. If your mom sent you, yes! Yes! If your mom sent you, what's the password? The game's doing it! <laughs> Did y'all have passwords growing up? I didn't. My parents didn't care enough. Um, or maybe we did, and I've just forgotten it. No, I don't think we ever had a password. Do y'all have passwords? The password. I think you're a little too old to need a password. Your mother can trust you to pick out a stranger, can't she? No. You're right. I can pick out a stranger. You put some distance between the woman and yourself. You're a stranger. Leave me alone. Humph. I'll be waiting here when you learn some manners. Once again, ma'am, that is just not going to happen. Hmm. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. 
Yikes, three children materialize before your eyes, which you are rubbing in disbelief. This really is a <laughs> haunted house. Um, the clothes are a few years out of date. So he's either uh, dead, been dead a couple years, or he's just poor. You try to get his attention and he looks towards you. I live here, you know. I hate going into the basement. He looks away embarrassed. After a few moments, he continues. You believe me, don't you? The boy mumbles quietly as you approach. I want to hear the song, but I can't find it. He digs his foot into the carpet nervously. If I look, it'll wake mom and dad. Seven or eight. You aren't quite sure how this girl got here. She doesn't seem at all happy to see you, though. No sooner do you look into her direction than she starts shouting. You're not supposed to be here. Get out of my house. Strangers aren't allowed in. Go away. Go away. Go away. She glares, willing you out of existence. Can't fool me, she grumbles. I was born on a leaf year. I know things. <laughs> okay, well, I like that. Okay, that one's still busted. Okay, it seems like you, the three of you have quests. So the basement, the favorite song, and I've been living here for 34 years. It's not your house. And stay out of my room. No boys allowed upstairs. I'm not a, I'm not a boy. Or am I? You know, I always say, all I did was pick a silhouette. I was assuming it was a female silhouette, but who knows? This is my house, really. Prove you believe me, he seems insistent. You gotta believe me. Just don't make me go into the basement. Okay, I think that's I think that's the full Uh no, let's go back. Okay. I mean I really like the implication that uh people who are born during the leap year have some sort of power. <laughs> or like um the idea that oh, you only become a ghost if you were born during a leap year or something, or a leap day. That would be fun, right? Oh, I wanted to go... I guess I need to go upstairs. Still need to find a camera. Okay. The staircase connects the first and second floors of the house. It's where we keep all of our portraits of our <laughs> pirate relatives. Maybe it's grandpa before you were born? Probably not. Can't shake the feeling that something is missing from this painting. It's a head. A little girl, maybe? She looks a little old for the rest of the picture. Who picked these out? This hallway leads to the stairs. The, this railing ranks a 95 out of 100 on a slide ability scale, but you know it's far too dangerous. I would like to slide on this, though, is the thing. Alright. Um, oh, we can go left or right. I guess let's go left. Hmm. You stand in the upstairs hallway, which seems relatively untouched. Sometimes at night, this light flickers. It's the creepiest thing. Well, who puts a fucking chandelier in a hallway? A familiar family photograph. Comforting. You always thought this end table was a bit spooky looking. But compared to the stuff you've seen today, not anymore. Yeah, let's look at the rug. Your brother hid under this rug once in the worst hide-and-seek decision ever. All right, so we got three, my room, door, and door. Uh, let's go to the doors first, the guest room. But something is blocking the door. There's not even a lock on the door, but it's not opening. It feels like someone's on the other side holding it shut. Did that, was that, did my door also do that? Well, come on, it's my room. What do you want from me, game? Dad's study is locked. Like it always wins when he's out of town. The lock, sh the key should be around here somewhere. Oh, no, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> no, no, okay. All right, let's try going into my... 
Oh, I can't go into any of these. It won't open. Mom's right. It is annoying when somebody locks your bedroom door. What? <laughs> okay. Well, that was a bust. So we need a key for my dad's study. Hmm. Uh-oh. This place looks pretty janky. Records of your family's many adventures. Somehow adventure always means hours in the car. Oh, look, it's the, it's the kids... The spooky ghost kids. What made this? It does look like there's some. Ugh. Weird. Normally this ends with a hatch up to the attic. Some kind of force has locked the master bedroom. There must be some important stuff in there. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Sculter. <laughs> Thank you for re upping your subscription, Goose. I like, I think I like Gersperms. Oh, that's from that meme. I forgot about that meme. That's such a good meme. Um, well, I guess we gotta go into this spooky door. The door opens, but not without some effort. The frame seems a little warped. You pass through to the next room, dodging a bit of falling plaster as you pass through the doorway. It's just a dead end. The hatch in the ceiling should lead to the attic. Whoa. If you didn't know any better, you'd swear the walls just moved. If I spend too much time here, am I going to get crushed? Small hatch in the ceiling leads to the attic above. It's too high to reach unaided. What? You hear dull grinding from all around you. Is it coming from the walls? Yeah, seems likely. All right, so I need something to stand on. Wow, and my phone continues to lose. <laughs> okay, so I think every time I maybe every time I use an item in that room, <laughs> the the walls are gonna come in. But also, look at my phone; it's losing battery. Why is that? That's the one of the most stressful mechanics I've seen in a game. Well, hmm. Ah, uh, so that's outside. Well, what happens if I just totally trust this woman? I mean, she's gonna feed me prune juice and kill me. Yeah. Yeah. What do you get out of this, Aunt Dahlia? She's laughing. What do you get out of that, lady? I just get old. Like, what does that do to you? What? How does that help you? You fucking pervert. No. Okay. Who can blame you for being on edge with so many strange goings on today? Yeah, that's right. It's the worst day, you say. Relieved to have somebody to talk to. It took forever to get out of the school. I ran into this creep in the woods. Then this crazed dog nearly bit off my face right outside. I don't know what's going on. Oh, that sounds dreadful. Just dreadful. You know what would make you feel better? Some nasty haunted prune juice. Oh, <laughs> you know what perks me right up? Prune juice. You don't, why don't you have a little sip? No, maybe a little later, you say, stalling. What doesn't make sense to me is, are they connected? I guess they're not strange on their own, but all these freaky things happening on the same day? You keep talking without much of a point, eventually looping around to the homework you'll need to cram in be tomorrow before class. Aunt Dahlia appears to be nodding off. Is this how I solved the puzzle? I put her to sleep? She shut her eyes several times already. No reason to stop when you're on a roll. <laughs> you keep talking, diving into the first subject that comes to mind. Your voice echoes strangely down the long adjacent hallways of the otherwise silent house. Your story is rudely interrupted by a loud, sharp snort. Aunt Dahlia is asleep, snoring in fact. You weigh your options. 
Yeah, let her sleep. You sink lower, careful not to make a sound. There's no telling how deeply she's sleeping. Free of the woman's uncomfortable gaze, you turn your attention back to the room. Now, where were you? Oh, I can take a place, Matt. Yeah, I don't mind if I do. Oh, God. Well, that didn't last long. I was kind of hoping I'd get to steal more things, but that's fine. Maybe that's all I needed to steal. Uh, do I have anything that's going to help? I mean, I feel like I gotta get this panel open, but like... Alright, maybe what we should do is go back to the, um... Talk her back to sleep and then prune juice her? Put the prune juice in her cup? Okay, yeah, I like that. No way, okay, how did I get there? Except, uh, uh. Okay, Looks successfully, you're right, her cup is, uh, sort of just out. Be careful not to make a sound. You lean in front of Dahlia and pour the bottle's contents into her glass. She awakens with a start and resumes sipping at her glass as if nothing happened. After several slips, Dahlia, re sips. Dahlia realizes what is wrong and begins coughing. Looks like the prune juice works both ways. What does that line mean? <laughs> what did you do? She collapses on the table, clawing towards you. You little punk. How dare you? Uh -huh. I killed her. <laughs> you notice a loud hissing sound slowly building from deep within the woman. She falls to the ground and begins to melt out of existence. Chat, what did you make me do? Chat, you made murderers of us all. Nothing remains her in her place except a small cassette tape. What? <laughs> okay. Okay. I mean, cool. You take the cassette tape, now you just need a way to listen to it. <laughs> 360 prune juice, no joke, maximum cowboy. <laughs> cowboy. Oh man, okay. Woo, she's really backed up. Oh no. <laughs> a perfect thing for somebody whose username is Calvin Peeing to say. Oh man, I'll have. Is there a, do you think there's, ooh, turn on, yeah. Oh. I'm 12, so I don't know if this is gonna work or not. You start messing with the cassette. After a few minutes, you notice the black tape inside is starting to unspool. What now, is it ruined? You scramble around looking for a solution, but nothing presents itself. Out of options, you stick your finky, pinky finger into the spokes and turn. The plastic teeth bite into your skin. It really hurts. Fortunately, your idea works, and the black tape gradually puts it back into place. You have no idea if it will stay put, but at least nobody knows what you will did. Okay, so that was just there, I guess, to instruct, I guess, Gen Z, who is the target audience for this game, how to wind up cassette tapes? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got a book. So many horses. An equestrian page turner. What does test mean? Oh, I see. Okay. Ooh, I can feel the carpet. You run your hands along the carpet, noting that it is indeed extremely soft and comfortable. Okay, great. Ooh, yeah. 
Yes. Okay. Use. Nothing seems to work. Well, what the fuck am I going to use this TV remote on? Other than the fucking TV. Uh, oh, look at all the garbage that I have in my bag. Okay. <laughs> the dining room feels empty without Aunt Dahlia in it. Like the house is gaping maw, eager to swallow you whole. This can't be a vor thing. It just we can't. Ah, <laughs> oh, hey kids. Oh, hey kid. You want you like music? How do you like this music? Oh, that's not the one that likes music. Hold on. That's not funny. You made him sad. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the woods and dig up the roots of that tree. I made him sad and I feel really bad about making him sad. Is Do you think any of this junk can be thrown into this gaping pit? Well, maybe like the endless sponge. Maybe it'll suck up all the water. You squeeze the sponge, holding it as far from yourself as possible. A bit of water seeps between your fingers. You win this time, sponge. <laughs> How's the bumpy goose so far? Uh, I would say middling. Sneaker? A sneak? You want me to use a sneaker on the deep pool? You hold the sneaker aloft and wave it around. The laces whip in all directions. That's it. <laughs> Alright, let's go back into the pipe, I guess. Oh, okay, hold on. Yeah, we did murder an old lady with prune juice. To be fair, she was trying to murder us. We also made a ghost sad. So that, I think those are the highlights so, so, so far. Um, the, as you reach the tunnel, the sound of splashing foot, footsteps freezes you in place. Who's there? You don't see anyone. Maybe the rabbit came back? You and Maria knocked a wasp nest out of this tree once. Was this the one? Hmm, maybe not. Alright, let's go back into the woods. You feel like you're being watched. You glance around and you can't see anyone, but you're certain there's something out there. Oh, fuck! Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. A very large creature has appeared in the clearing. It seems to be grinning as it rubs its front front paws together excitedly. Um, boy, it does seem like if I interact with the beast, it's going to be not great for me. Let me just real quick. Night Rook Raven, thank you for Raven. Night Rook Raven, thank you for upping your subscription. This seems bad. So far, there has not been much of an overarching plot. It's a very large furry creature. You find it hard not to notice its rows of glistening, razor-sharp teeth. You're it, the beast shouted. I excited to play game. Can't wait. So hungry. The creature barks a husky laugh. You're it. You're it, he chants. Is this a game? Wait, do you think we're playing a game? He he, not think. No. Also, I'm winning. Better think fast, you. I mean, he wants to play it. He wants to play tag. Um. Yeah, that's true. If I'm it, I'm trying to chase it. All right, yeah, let's play then. You nod, your mind raising as to what this game could possibly be and what might happen if you lose. Good, good. This should be fun. I don't suppose you might want to give me a hint? Hint? M maybe against rules, but might make game more interesting? Let's think. To claim prize here, you must be powerful. Right now, I powerful. 
Okay. So to, to get this thing, I bet I have to be powerful. Ah! <laughs> you hold out the talisman for a moment before the beast swipes it away. Chuckling, he swipes away your arms too. Looks like you lost your game with the beast from the east. Don't feel too bad. It's a high level adversary. <laughs> Um, do you think he'd like a doily? It's powerful, so if I had power... That's true, he wasn't sad, so that's something. Well, I mean, let's... I think I'm probably gonna have to play in order to... So if I'm it, what does it do? His large toothy grin grows larger and toothier. That part of game, of course. You can't help but noticing notice his glistening claws and powerful jaws. And welcoming, welcoming little fishies in. Flaming Green Vile, thank you for re-upping your subscription. Yeah, we met us we met a spooky fellow. Um Sorry, you say, you don't have time for this. I give up, you win. The beast shakes his head, plodding towards you on its enormous clawed paws. A shame. Quickest way to not win is not play. Okay. If this was a game, then you got game over, I assume. <laughs> okay. Well, damn. Do you think he'd like horse book? Do you think he'd like a horse book? I don't think I can use the items on myself. Can I combine? What if I made some sort of kitchen bomb? I mean, the prune juice is gone, so I did successfully use that is some good news. Uh, hmm. I don't think I could take any- ooh! Ooh! It lands on Transylvania, how spooky! Oh, okay! I could steal the whole time! I just had to believe in myself! You pull out a decent looking book and dust it off. Shrugging, you place it in your bag. Time to loot! Yes! Take the shrunken head, yes! Can I take the hat? Yes! With a flourish, you make the top hat disappear. Into your bag! Yes, open the coffin. You struggle with the handle, but it won't budge. You do manage to kick up a thick cloud of dust. Okay, I think that's all I can steal from here. But that was very successful. What a successful robbery! After looting, you decide you shouldn't be here and you walk away. Okay. No. Let me- I want to look at the book. A very thick book in, labeled Encyclopedia. Aw. It's what you always imagine a trunken head would look like. Okay. Use top hat on- ooh! You place the top hat on your head, but it's too small. I guess there's no stage magic in the future. What if... You place the hat on your head? No, I wanted to put it on the... Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. It's too small for my head? I am a child. You place the hat on your head, but it's too small. I guess it probably goes on the dummy, right? Once I find the dummy. Can I put it on the dinosaur is a great question. 
Where is the, where is the sound coming from? Is the is the rabbit here? And can I give it its hat? And then and then we can be allies. And I can pet his little cute little nose. Can I put it? This is a good question. No, no. Okay. Come here, rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back into the house. And we're gonna call information, because that's the thing I can do in this game. Or I can call my mom, which I probably should have done a while ago once I realized the house was so fucked up. Call mom. You call your mother and the phone rings twice before she picks up. Hi there, Jenna. Make sure you check the mail. Ah! Oh, I expect something. I'm expecting something for your father's birthday. Please take a look in the mailbox when you walk by. Thanks so much. She hangs up. You're not concerned about why I called you, Mom? You dial your brother's number. But I mean confirmation that the dad is still in the picture. He just doesn't help out with any of the fucking housework. Even though my mom clearly also works. You dial your brother's number. Hi, you've reached Chad, except you also missed Chad. Sorry. I'm probably busy doing something important, or at least something, whatever it is. You could, like, leave a message, though. I'm not gonna do that. He's on another business trip? I bet. You dial up 411. Thank you for calling information. Due to an unexpectedly large cut click. Okay. Alright, let's check the... Yeah, let's check the... Um, the mailboxes were over to the side here. You shouldn't open... Yours is on the end. You open your mailbox, hoping that there's something in there for you. It's a letter, but it's addressed to somebody you've never heard of. Must be a past resident. Don't mind if I do. It's a sheet of coupons for the local dairy freeze. You make a note to go there this week. <laughs> Hell yeah, coupons. Doesn't look like there's anything for dad, though. Uh, let me read the fucking letter. You consider opening the letter, but decide it would be wrong since it's not addressed to you. You aren't at a store that accepts these coupons. <sighs> this is not actually useful in any way. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, we did commit a prune murder. And it won't be the last if I have my say. I guess I'll I guess I'll call my mom and tell her Hey ghost, hang on for just a moment. Hi dear, I was just oh, I accidentally clicked through. We just started dating, so I guess, well, I guess it was between 1987 and 89, that general period. Anyway, we were at this really stuffy restaurant, and this waiter was wearing this, this kind of, oh, you don't want to hear the story. Remember, I'll be late tonight, okay? Have fun. She hangs up. Mom, there are ghosts. There are ghosts in the house. Why are you not worried about this? All right, so we successfully killed an old woman and got, uh... A cassette tape, but we don't have anywhere to play it that I that I have seen. There's an attic. There's a door to the attic, but we need something to stand on in order to get up into it. Ha! Ah, that is a good quote. Did I say? I guess I must have said that. This is good advice. It can, if it can't be good, it can at least be accurate. We have this thing in the garbage disposal that I don't know how to access. 
Can I use this on other things? Hmm, I can't seem to mute the blender. There's a puzzle down here. But I also don't think I have anything. <sighs> Letter with ghost kids? Oh, that's a good idea. You guys are so smart. Yeah, one of them might recognize it, the letter. No, she hits the letter right out of your hand. You just want to take all my stuff. Well, you can't. I locked my room. That's not funny. You made him sad. All right, well. He takes the envelope eagerly, <gasps> confirming his name on the address. He tears it open, reading the enclosed letter with much interest. You guys are so smart. Nope to Jope, so smart. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. As he reaches the end, the ghost looks to you and smiles. He seems to be at peace. Just as suddenly as he appeared, the child fades out of view. I killed him! You feel his presence leave the house gently. A moment later, the basement door unlocks with a resounding click. Photo paper? Uh, it looks like an undeveloped photograph. All right, the basement. Oh no, the basement was that uh, the door that was right there, I guess. Yeah, those kids are ghosts. This one wants music, I think. And this one's just angry. With some hesitation, you turn the knob and open the basement door a crack. Do you really want to go down there? Yeah. Yeah. I bet there's going to be like a... Um, ooh, spooky. I think there's going to be uh, a dark room here. That's my bet. And I can develop a photo and get a camera and make my own photos. Basement is dark and musty. Sweltering heat builds as the furnace kicks on. You don't want to be down here any longer than necessary. A bunch of old Halloween stuff. Yes. Looks like a large picture frame for hanging portraits. There's not a picture in it, though. Yet. Yet. It's a vice. These are used to hold objects in place so you can work on them with tools. A lot of interesting tools hang from the rack. Presumably, I can get some tools to fix the fucking sink, right? These are just painted on? <laughs> oh, well, fuck me. Okay. Fucking painted on tools. That's some fucking Animal Crossing shit. Inside, there's a standard flathead screwdriver. We can use this to get uh, to open the panel up. Finally, a fucking tool. Okay. Canoe. This is your family's, but you aren't sure why you have it. You've never gone canoeing. Your parents had a life before you, kid. Where they did cool things like go canoeing. Uh, bye, well-spoken rambler. This terrifying iron creature stands immobile against the wall, breathing coal and coughing smoke. You can feel the heat from here reaching towards you, taunting. Can I enter? Well, yeah, we're going to do that for sure. Nope, so much nope. Okay, well... Why would you even give me the option? It's a handy storage closet. Can I enter it? It's not locked to the door. Ah! Yes, a step, step ladder. I have just the thing to take for this. A wire hanger? Heck yeah. Okay, great. God, we just unlocked so many things that we're going to use. No, I didn't want to go that way. There we go. Right? I think we just got... We just unlocked all the things. Okay. Yeah, let's do... The wire hanger first. You carefully bend the hanger into a hook. You managed to do so after pricking yourself a scant four or five times. How did you prick yourself on a fucking wire hanger? You thread the hook... Then your new hook into the disposal drain and easily remove the object inside. It's a key! I bet that opens my dad's um, space, the thing. Alright, and then let's screwdriver. 
chat. Yeah. Ooh, it's a hole. Everybody, look, it's a hole. There's a very large hole in the back of the cupboard. Don't mind if I do. Hole, 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 hole. Uh, in in my wildest dreams, I never would have expected the holes emote to be as useful as it has been. You tuck your arms close and squeeze through the hole. Hey, there's a tunnel back here. Oh, the hole opens up into a tunnel stretching into the distance. It's cramped and you already have dirt in your hair. You can hear dripping though. You need to find, find the source of that leak. A metal pipe runs along the ceiling here. path seems to lead deeper into the tunnels. Shuffling on your hands and knees, you press onward. Here, the tunnel splits. You listen for the drip. Okay, the pipes go either way. The, the audio is not actually, like, location-specific. <laughs> so, like, I can't actually pinpoint it's a dead end you haven't been able to hear the drips for some time okay you wish you had a way to turn up the volume of the dripping so you could hear it better a game i don't know what you think i i don't know what you want from me in that regard should i be literally turning up the volume of my headphones because i i don't think that's actually gonna do anything oh, am i just gonna go in circles until I have... Do I need to use the remote? Yeah, that pliable head, yes. I can't hear it anymore. You hit the pipe with your TV. This is so dumb. You hit the pipe with your TV remote, which fills the tunnel with a pa painfully loud clanging. It hurts and takes a moment for the dizziness to subside. If I can't use it, I mean, there's no, there's no like drip. There's no drip object for me to interact with. Hey, it's a t it's kind of a different image, although it is actually just the same image flipped. <laughs> I'm worried this is some lost woods shit. You think it wants me to turn the water on more? Okay. Oh, no, never mind. You locate the source of the dripping. At last, a strange green liquid is seeping out of the pipes overhead. There's also a bag a few feet away with something inside it. We were all overthinking it, I think. <laughs> Pure chance? No! I'm an elite gamer. I I'm an elite gamer, and I just one-shotted this maze. <laughs> it's a small cloth bag. You can tell there's something inside it. That doesn't look like water, though. It's some kind of green ooze. You open the bag and drop its contents into your hand. A key and a chess piece. The pipe rattles violently overhead. There's a loud rushing and then... Boom! <laughs> what happened? It's everywhere! Um, and it's moving towards me. I mean, yes, I am going to taste it, in case you're wondering. You reach out a finger and scoop a mouthful of the green mass. You don't like the taste, but it doesn't matter for long as it sizzles its way down your throat. You begin changing. Your body is growing. You can feel every cell doubling, tripling, quadrupling in size. The bad news is you're still deep underside where personal growth is not encouraged.
Oh god, am I gonna have to like navigate my way back out of this? Well. It's another tunnel. You hope it leads to the entrance. You rush face first into the ball of goop. Tub break and envelopes you slowly pressing in on all sides. Blorp. Okay. I am wondering if that means I got more powerful. Oh, I did not mean to. <laughs> all right. Yeah, okay. Let's just get out of here. Oh god, am I really gonna have to... remember the reverse way that I came? I'm just gonna keep going backwards, I guess. Okay, you tumble out of the cupboard, sprawling across the floor. You're finally out of that tunnel. You take several appreciative breaths to calm down. The monster blood didn't follow you out here, so you're safe for now. Monster blood? You happily kick the cupboard close. Okay, all right, so... It's the key to the downstairs bathroom. You can tell because of the surfboard keychain. What? <laughs> what? Okay. What? Okay. So I think the bathroom is over this way. Uh-oh. Oh god, it's the dummy! The TV turned itself on. A picture's coming into focus. It looks like some kind of ventriloquist dummy. It's talking. But there's nobody else there. Where's his voice coming from? Attention, Town Center Galleria customers. The mall will be closing early today. We apologize for any inconvenience this may cause. My friends and I have big plans for tomorrow, though, so definitely stop by. <laughs> and if our special guest is listening, he knows who he is. We have a message. You can't ignore us forever. Your fate's already been written. So let's just flip to the last page. <laughs> it's doing a little bit of a creep, crypt creeper thing. It's just awful. It's pretty awful, Faith. I think the dummy was one of the ones I was most scared of as a kid. Busted, I think you're right. There doesn't seem to be any voiceover. Uh, and I, I'm kind of surprised that there's no voiceover. I feel like I want to learn more about the production history of this game. Um, cause there, I, I'm just curious about, I'm curious if the company who made this has made many other games in this genre. All right. If I use the remote on you, are you still gonna be unfunctional? Yeah, okay. It does not, it's still, yeah, it definitely, it does not feel like we have yet come across an overarching plot. Uh, and I definitely feel like this is meant, definitely meant for, like, younger kids, maybe. Like, this is a, a first time point and click. You slide the key into the lock and turn. Yeah, I'm nervous about how many key uh, items that we have. You don't have to go at the moment, but you decide to check out the bathroom. Thanks for clarifying if I needed to piss game. <gasps> it only takes one glance at the downstairs bathroom to realize this is not a bathroom. It's a dark room, like a photo lab at school. But also, like, who... Who is... I mean... The, this game was made in 2015, I believe. And it's clearly skewing for a younger audience. Like, it's skewing for the audience that would watch the movie. Um, so the fact that it still has, like, a, a dark lab and a cassette tape is so weird to me. Because that is, like, yeah, they have a cell phone and a dark room. Like, it, it's just, it's sort of perplexing 
but I didn't see the movie. So maybe the movie was also, it was a prequel to the movie. Okay, I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, like, I don't know what that could mean in context. Variety of different pictures hanging on the line. None of them look the least bit familiar. It's a sink. Bottle of fixer. Bottle of stopper solution. A bottle of developer. Am I going to have to use all these things? Tongs? Yes! As you Did that say, as usual, you shove it into your inventory? Okay, we got some water. Okay, I can't take any of the liquids. Hey, it's an old-timey camera. Love that. You tuck the camera away with great care. You hope it's not haunted or anything. Okay, game. Um, great. This haunted camera exudes a mysterious... <laughs> <laughs> the fact that the audio, the item description just says this is a haunted camera is really funny. Its picture might reveal things you can't see normally. Okay. I only have three shots, though, which is... Empty plastic bottle. Don't mind if I do. You take the container. It's sure to be handy before long. All right, let's develop this thing. Wait, uh, do I have to understand careful you don't want to expose it to the light what these actually do it brings out the dark areas of the image neutralizes the effects of the developer in the photograph what am i actually gonna have to learn how to how to am i gonna have to learn how to develop film i'm just gonna do one two three what do you i mean what do you mean expose it to the light? We're in a dark room. Are you game? Are you fucking kidding me? I want to I want to I'm not exposing it to the light. We're in a dark room. It does, you know what? Ryan, it, that's kind of the vibe I get, is that whoever made this was like, we can't let the art of photography development be lost. I'm going to teach kids how to do it. I can't understand why it's not letting me... Do I have to use... Do I have to fucking use... Is there a door... There's just the exit, and I don't think I can, like, I don't, I don't have access to close it. Maybe I can take, use the tongs. You pick up the photo paper and prepare to develop it. You've never done this before. Maybe you should get some information first. Are you not... Okay. Yes, okay. Image is starting to take shape. The image is super light. You get the sinking feeling that you messed up the process if there was only a way to start at the beginning. It killed me! <laughs> Kill me? Is it not gonna let me do this until I find like a description on how? The photo paper sits in the developer's tub, the image is starting to take place. It's usually developer on the left, then stop bath, and then fixer, then wash sink, then dry. I have to wait 20 minutes real time while it develops. 
It seems like I'm taking it out too soon. Yeah. Um, oh, I like that, the Raptor Queen. Yeah, let's... Um, can we use the photo paper on the encyclopedia? Can I use it? Can I use it on photo paper? Okay. Um... I'm worried about leaving and coming back and losing progress because it's like, oh, you fucked up this development process. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's, I guess, leave it there for a while. How's everybody's Tuesday? Wall of Ceiling, I'm thankful for your photo lab expertise. Um, time to drink the developer. <laughs> um, yeah, I like that. Let's um, let's call. God, I have so much fucking inventory. Okay, this is just a an FAQ. This is like a tutorial guide, okay. I was kind of worried that was what it was gonna be. Uh... Ah, it worked, okay. We just needed to wait, okay. All right, I guess we're just gonna use I guess it probably needs more time here. I love a game that makes me just like sit kind of and think my thoughts. I'm just up playing it. Love that. What is 411 if not to teach me? Ah! Uh, what is 411 for if not to teach me how to develop photography? <laughs> Mars Arts, I'm glad. They're useful. They're good captions. Flaming Green Vial, I don't I don't know if did that help you? Did that quote help you? Oh, um, you know what kids love in games? It's that they sit. They all have to just sit and sort of uh wait. God damn it. I wonder if I wonder if it Okay. Do I really just have to sit here? This can't, this can't be. I wonder, I, I do wonder if like, I am supposed to find something in game? Um, yeah, that, yeah, Beppo, that's kind of what I'm wondering too. Like if I call, if I call someone again, is it gonna do the thing? Just a busy signal, that's weird, okay. Okay, so that did that. All right, let's call another number. Let's call my mom, what's she up to? Hi, honey. Honey, can you hear me? Hello? Try turning up the sound on your phone, sweetie. How about now? Turn up the volume, okay? Just listen, okay, honey, listen. Turn up the volume. Maybe it's just a bad connection. She hangs up. Look at the. But it's still getting darker. God damn it. All right, let's go look at any of the other stuff. 
The phone battery is indeed going down. So obnoxious. Let's go to the attic. Because uh, we have the steps now. Or we can go to the... Um, my dad's... Uh, study. Can you charge your phone in the haunted house? That's a good question. Is This is tricky because there's been no overarching plot, so I'm like, it would make sense to me if there was a time where, like, I, I like, s I, a moment where I went to sleep and I woke up and the, the phone was charged, but I really don't know what is happening in this game. Hey! More film. I wonder if there's a book on developing. It's a deceptively thick instruction manual for a cassette player. Thick leather bound volume on of mythical creatures, volume three. It's famous hauntings. Fairly serious depression. The year has taken its toll. He moved across the room to the chair where he spent most of his time these days. Sitting, he stared ahead at the same view he saw every day. This was reality now. Room, chair, view. He chanced to look at his watch. 3.33, February 29th, 2004. That year. This year. 2004. He wondered if he could only remove this year from the calendar like it never existed. Would things be different? What? An adventure book full of action and intrigue. Disagree. It's not uncommon for one or more ghosts to populate an area of spiritual significance. Frequent haunts are haunt areas include childhood homes, schools, playgrounds, and points of passing. Another long-standing myth is the mirror demon. This can be found among many cultures. In most interesting version, the creature cannot leave its mirrored prison. It actually attacking its victim's image is it actually it is actually attacking its victim's image in said mirror. Some legends claim a gargoyle's saliva turns its prey to stone, leading experts to speculate the side effects of an all-rock diet. Okay. Ooh, testing for a solid foothold, you begin your ascent. You turn back, however, when the fan nearly removes your head. Okay. You crack the book and flip to a dog-eared page. Order of operation. Oh my god. It's teaching me how to use a cassette tape. First, place batteries in the back of the player, so I'm gonna need fucking batteries. Second, open the cassette door and place the cassette inside until it clicks. Take care that the top of the cassette is facing down. Lastly, close the cassette door. Press play, press play to begin listening to music. This game... This game is the equivalent of listening to an old person try to describe to you <sighs> yeah, yes, Augie, exactly. This is how I feel right now. It's like, what is this? What are you trying? What are you trying to do? Game, what do you perceive your audience being and being interested in? Oh, thank you. I don't know why it's doing this. They must have done something uh, to the... To the interface with the captions that it keeps doing that. It's also, what the fuck is happening? Sorry, it got... What is happening? I have no idea what is happening with captions. This has never done this before. Okay, weird. Weird captions. All right. Maximum Cowboy, thank you for the subscription. All right. Oh, look, it's another chess piece. Don't mind if I do. A framed motivational poster. Your dad's nuts about these things. Piano is a sturdy and finely polished antique. A small placard indicates it was manufactured by Sh Shriek and Toggles. That's gotta be. That's gotta be a reference. To a ghost bomb, a goosebumps. I said almost said ghost bumps. That's is messy. Ah, to whom it may concern, on the eve of last Friday, I had the ir irredeemable displeasure of dining at your establishment. One walk the tiger. Oh my God, my dad sucks. 
While the service had its own issues, it was adequately typical of venues of its ilk. And he's a little bit racist, I think. So I would not dine to tell you your business. That said, the troubling quality was your food. I ordered the melange chicken, which is my go-to item for your menu. What what year was this game made? Is this game supposed to be from the from 2004? Is that why that book mentioned it? Because like, is this man writing a review that he is going to put in the mail and send to this business? That are you, what are we doing? And while the dish was for the most part pleasantly uneventful, the penultimate piece of fried fowl was quite curious. I suppose there's no delicate way to put this, so I'll be blunt, it was shaped like a giraffe. I was so tickled by this occurrence that I waited an embarrassing long time to devour it. What the fuck is happening? I then left in my car and wasn't halfway home, but who should startle awake in the back seat but my grandfather? It seems I'd forgotten entirely that he wanted to occupy me uh, to accompany me to dinner. We'd been planning it for weeks. My dad fucking sucks shit. And believe you me, he's just the type of person to be amused by the giraffe-shaped chicken. In closing, I would like to ask if the peculiar, peculiar chicken is an intended element of this dish, as I'd never noticed it prior. I feel lightheaded reading this. If this is intentional, consider a formal request to have giraffe chicken lined up for next Thursday. I will be returning with my grandfather and our plan at this time is for him to join me in the restaurant. Given your role in the aforementioned mix-up? No role! They had no role! I believe this is to be a reasonable concession. They had no role in this mix-up! What is happening? Thank you for your understanding, Theodore M. Ingram. What the fuck is happening? What is happening? What just happened? What is going on here? What did we just read and why? <laughs> did R.L. Stein write this? I don't think so. I can't imagine he did. I think it would be better if he had. But it's been so long since I've read an R.L. Stein book. Maybe it's not. Yeah, Flaming Green Vial, this counts. What is happening? What did we just read and why did we read it? What the fuck? Oh my god. I feel just unhinged. Yeah, let's use the computer. Tap the keyboard to wake it up, but it's locked. You're gonna need a password to access the computer. It's a simple sticky note with a hastily jotted password reminder. I always remember my password in the bathroom. It's not letting me interact with this in any way, so I think I just have to go to the bathroom? I always remember my password in the bathroom. Okay, well. Oh, let me play the piano. You take the time to sit down and play your celebrated rendition of Chopsticks. <laughs> I appreciate that they did get a little sound clip of Chopsticks for that. Where's the bathroom? Was this one the bathroom? guest room. That's my room and it's blocked. I remember it. Yeah. Yeah, the little girl is blocking it. Is this the bathroom? That's the master bedroom. Well, well then wait. You have to develop a picture of the password. I... Uh, I don't think there's another bathroom. Because there's the basement, and the... I don't think there's another bathroom. Let's, um, uh, let's do this one. You place the stop ladder beneath the attic hatch. Did they break again? Come on. Closed captioning is usually so good, I do not know what is happening with it today. It's all, like, spaced weirdly, too. And, like, it's moving around? What is happening? Closed captioning, are you gonna be okay? 
That seems like a no. I do not know. I do not know what is happening here. But let's go ahead and get up in this attic. What? The room room's grown too small for you to fit. You attempt to stop the in oncoming walls by wedging yourself between them, but it's a losing battle. What? What more do you want me to, to do, game? Am I, do I need to like wedge something? I don't feel like I have anything that's really gonna stop some moving walls. Yeah, I should be able to reach the hatch by now. Is there a mechanism? You slam your closed fist into the pipe. You hear a ring from the pipes in your ears. The pain shoots up your arms too, okay. Closes in a little bit. And I should just be able to slide up in here. Okay, so if I use if I do two actions of any kind, it seems like. Yeah, it's not great sound, Claire. <laughs> um, so if I use two uh, items of any kind, and ghosts are blocking the three other rooms up here. So I, I must need to... Uh, is the room broken because of the earlier time you did something in the room? I don't think so. I don't think the game would let me permanently break, break something like that. Uh, is there anything else down here? Oh, okay, I take the large frame. You swallow an uncomfortable lump in your throat at the sight of bats hanging from the ceilings. If they're vampire blats, bats, you're extremely unprepared. You look for a quiet way around them. As you creep around the bats, the light changes and you realize they're not bats at all, just some old rags. Okay. Well, I got a picture frame. I mean, if I can ever develop a fucking picture, then that'll be super useful. Uh... So the little boy wants music, and I do have a cassette tape, which I have to assume is something I will be used for it. But I think in order to get whatever boombox or cassette player I eventually find to work, we'll probably need... We'll probably need batteries, because that was listed in that, in the drop-down, or in the description of how to use a cassette tape. All right, I think this is gonna be the end of the stream. <laughs> Closed captions is cursed and we're at a kind of a, a cul-de-sac. So, ha. <sighs> yeah, uh, I have so many items and so little that I can do with any of them for the moment. <laughs> so we're gonna come back fresh and vital Thursday evening for the normal stream and I won't be late to it. That's my promise. Um, uh, yep, that's Thursday. What time is that? 7? 7 p.m. Central Time? I'm still not used to the time zone change. Uh, yeah, Thursday. We'll be back for more of this game. Have a good rest of your Tuesday, and I'll see you all then. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna coddle the captions a little bit, and hopefully they'll feel better. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you all later. Have a good Tuesday. Bye!